Whether you're a Google Drive veteran or new to cloud storage, this video is your guide to mastering Google Drive. Check out these 20 tips for efficient file organization and collaboration to boost your productivity. Let's get started. Number 1. Get Drive on the Web. You have the flexibility to utilize Google Drive seamlessly across various devices, including web browsers, PCs, and mobile devices. A popular method to access Google Drive is through the web interface. To do this, you can enter drive.google.com in your browser, leading you directly to Google Drive. Another convenient way is to use the waffle menu, located in the top right-hand corner of any Google product on the web. Clicking on the waffle icon reveals a list of Google apps, among which you'll find Drive with a distinctive triangle icon. You can drag the Drive icon to a more prominent position for quicker future access. This ensures easier and faster return to Google Drive whenever needed. Number 2. Get Drive on PC. You also have the option to install Google Drive on your PC. This provides the advantage of accessing all your Google Drive files through a designated folder on your computer. To obtain the backup and sync tool, navigate to the top right-hand corner and click on the settings gear. Within the settings, select Get Drive for Desktop. On the subsequent page, scroll down to find the download option for the backup and sync tool. Number 3. Upload File Now we find ourselves in Google Drive on the web. Once in Google Drive, one of the initial tasks you might want to accomplish is placing a file in the cloud to begin enjoying the various benefits mentioned earlier. The simplest way to achieve this is by selecting a file from your computer and dragging and dropping it into Google Drive. For instance, if you have a Word document, you can release it, and you'll observe it being uploaded into the cloud. Number 4. Upload Folder If you happen to have a whole folder you want to transfer to Google Drive, you can do so using the same method. For example, I have a folder from my PC, and once again, I'll effortlessly drag and drop it onto Google Drive. This action will upload the entire folder into Drive. Number 5. New Menu In the upper left-hand corner, there's a noticeable and sizable new button. Clicking on this button provides another avenue for uploading content, both individual files and entire folders. It's an additional method to get your content onto the platform. Number 6. New Docs, Sheets, and more. Below, I have the option to create new blank documents, sheets, slides, and various other types of Google content. Suppose I prefer not to start with a blank document, in that case, I can hover over this arrow and commence my work using a template. Number 7. Create New Folder. At the top of this menu, there's an option to generate a new folder. I'll proceed to create a folder, prompting me to provide a name, let's call it, Financials. Once the naming is complete, click on, Create. Now, you can see my newly created folder. Organizing content, much like any file manager, involves clicking and holding one of my files and then dropping it into folders. Additionally, you can access the same menu by right-clicking making it remarkably easy to manage and organize content within Google Drive. Number 8. Search. Now, various files are visible within Google Drive, offering the advantage of having these files backed up and accessible from any location. Another significant benefit of Google Drive is the ease with which I can retrieve any of my files. The primary method for doing this is through the search field located here. This search function isn't restricted to documents, it extends to content within PDFs and images as well. For instance, I have a PDF containing the text UAE. Upon searching, both a document and a PDF appear, showcasing the capability to search within PDFs. If, by any chance, I can't find what I'm seeking in the search results, on the right side of the search field, additional search options can be revealed. Here. I can apply various filters to refine my search and locate the desired file. While search is effective, 
there are instances when the exact file is unknown. Number 9. Quick Access. Finding a specific file can be challenging at times, even with the search function. That's where quick access becomes valuable. Quick access showcases the documents and content most pertinent to you based on various signals, such as shared documents or frequently accessed files. Google analyzes your interactions with documents and recommends the most relevant ones. For instance, if someone shares a document with you or you frequently open a particular document, quick access prioritizes and displays it. Number 10. My Drive View. Below, I encounter the essence of the Google Drive interface. Here, my various files and folders are displayed, and as we discussed earlier, I have the flexibility to arrange and drag and drop files to customize this view according to my preferences. In addition to organizing files, I can modify the view settings to enhance my ability to locate specific items. For instance, the current organization is based on the file names, but I have the option to switch it to the last modified order or other sorting preferences. Furthermore, I can alter the visual representation of all these files. In the top right-hand corner, I can switch between the current list view and the grid view, offering a more visual way to navigate and locate my files. Number 11. Share links with ease. Within Drive, when I select one of my files, additional controls become visible at the top. Let's briefly go over what these controls offer. The first one is, Get Link, which enables you to generate a shareable link for others to access the file. Adjacent to that, there's an alternative method to share a file with specific individuals. You have the flexibility to switch between generating a link and sharing with individuals or groups. Clicking on the settings gear also allows you to configure permissions when sharing the file. Once a file is shared, a shared icon will appear next to the title, signifying that the file has been shared. Number 12. Additional File Actions. Once a file is shared, I have the option, situated above the sharing icons, to preview it. This preview feature comes with additional controls, allowing me to comment on the file, print it, or download it back to my PC. Furthermore, I can remove a file if I wish to delete it, and there's a context menu offering additional actions for the file. The last icon at the top is the details icon. Clicking on it reveals all the file-related details, with a crucial section displaying the file's activity. Currently, I just uploaded this file, but as I share and collaborate with others, more activities will be recorded here. Google Drive offers various ways to access popular actions. When a file is selected, I can utilize the options at the top, or I can simply right-click on the file to reveal a menu with additional actions. Among the interesting options in this list, I can add the file to Start, and doing so will place it within the Start category. Number 13. Folder Actions. Similar to handling files, I can choose a folder and then right-click on it, revealing a comparable context menu. In this menu, I have the option to star folders, and interestingly, I can also change the color for easier identification of the folder. Additionally, just as with files, I can share an entire folder. Number 14. View my drive. Let's turn our focus to the left-hand side, where we find various views. Currently, I'm in the default my drive view, which displays all of my content. In this view, I can see my primary root folder, or the main my drive view, and beneath it, I can observe all the subfolders I have. Number 15. View computers. Below, there's an option labeled, Computers. This feature becomes visible only if you've configured the Drive for Desktop app. Without this setup, the, Computers, option won't appear. It enables you to view files that you've synchronized onto Drive from your computer. Number 16. View Shared With Me. The subsequent option is, Shared With Me, and as the name suggests, it displays any folders or files that others have shared directly with me. 
A useful feature here is that you might have shared files in this section that you'd like to see within your My Drive view. Fortunately, you can easily achieve this by right-clicking on an item, selecting Add a Shortcut to Drive, and specifying where you want the shortcut to appear. If, for instance, you add it to My Drive and click Add a Shortcut, upon returning to the My Drive view, you'll find a shortcut to the shared folder. Essentially, it functions like having your own folder, which proves particularly beneficial for collaborative projects. Number 17. View Recent. Beneath Shared With Me, there's the Recent view, displaying all the files I've recently engaged with. Whether it's opening a file, uploading one, or making modifications, any interaction with a file prompts it to appear in this recent list. Number 18. View Starred. Following that, there's the Starred view, where any file or folder that I've marked with a star appears. This is akin to pinning a document, if it's a file that I frequently revisit, I can star it for quick and easy access. Number 19. View Trash. The final view available is my Trash. Clicking on this option allows me to view all the folders and files that I've deleted recently. After a period of 30 days, they are automatically permanently deleted. However, I also have the option to proactively empty the trash. Number 20. Storage Usage. Clicking into the storage section provides a helpful overview, indicating which files are utilizing the majority of my storage capacity. An interesting observation is that files such as PowerPoint files, Word documents, or graphics contribute to my storage usage. However, files in Google formats like Docs, Sheets, or Slides show a consumption of zero bytes. Thank you for embarking on this Google Drive adventure with us. If you discovered new insights that will make your digital life easier, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share this knowledge with your fellow explorers. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments below.